the field at home with me, Karen Carter. I usually travel to Strawberry Field by car, but obviously all of our journeys are somewhat more restricted these days and a bit more limited as to where I go and when I do it. In England, we're being told to plan Christmas carefully and all the journeys around that time. We need to take a close look at whether or not our journeys are essential. Now, of course, the essential journeys are seen as going to work if you can, education or maybe care for a vulnerable person. So there's a lot of pressure on transport and there will be around Christmas in particular. So we'll have to consider all sorts of things. Who I travel with? Have I pre-booked? Will it be safe? Do I need to travel at a different time from somebody else? All sorts of things will come into it. But we also know that pandemic or no pandemic, there will be engineering works on the railways and there will be traffic works on the roads. That's just the way it is. Those things are planned years ahead. In a nutshell, we have to think long and hard about travelling and whether we need to do it. Is it essential? This all comes under the heading of the COVID-19 winter plan. But what came into my head was, what about God's plan? What is God's plan in the midst of all this? And what about God's plan in the journey of Advent, the Christian season of Advent, starting next week, of course, the beginning of December? That journey of preparation and hope, waiting, waiting for the birth of Jesus at Christmas. One little girl, a friend of mine's little girl, used to sum up all the excitement of this time by saying that she couldn't wait, she just couldn't wait to see the little baby Jesus away in a manger, except it was all one word. And it's better said really in Scouse and quite quickly. So the Liverpudlian version is I love the little baby Jesus in his away in a manger. She used to be so gleeful about the whole thing and dance up and down at the very thought of it. Well, at this time, we know that we want to prepare well for the journey of Advent. But how can that be? Are we prepared to do Christmas differently? And are we prepared to face up to whatever Advent brings out in us? Whether it's excitement, like the little girl, or something we've maybe tried to avoid. As we look inside ourselves, look outside at what's going on in our world and see what can be done to bridge the gap. It's a time of thinking, of reflection. And for many people, if they think about a, a verse, a Bible verse, about journey, they'll tend to come to the Lord's My Shepherd Psalm, Psalm 23. And it's that verse that says, even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Shepherds would use the staff, the crook that they had, to lean on as a support when they were tired. Or maybe when the ground was wet, they couldn't lie down, they'd lean on it. It 
was also used, of course, to track the sheep and help to herd the sheep when they were going across quite dangerous terrain. And then the rod, the curly bit at the top of the staff, that was often used, well, to help the sheep get out of danger. It might hook them out of the water or thick bushes that they got caught up in. So the staff and the rod are very important. They protect and guide. And you can lean on it for support. Well, to be honest, as a city girl, um, I've never seen a rod and staff on my travels that much. But I do know where I can get support and where I can get help and protection from danger. You may feel as though you've been through that darkest valley this year. Or maybe you're still in it. But don't be afraid. You are not walking alone. And we'll close this time together with our daily prayer that we've been using at Strawberry Field to support and encourage us all on this journey. As days turn to weeks and the weeks turn to months, we reach for you, Lord. As we doubt, then don't doubt, then doubt again, we ask that you take away our fear. I do believe. Please help my unbelief. As thoughts turn to those we long to be close to, we ask that we become more aware of your closeness to us. How can we be strong and courageous? Give us the strength we just don't have ourselves. For today, for tomorrow, and all the days of our lives. Amen.